Well, there is some banging. The cup is moving. What was that? <gasps> Crying out loud. There's footsteps, footsteps, footsteps! <laughs> what on earth is going on? I don't actually know where I am. <laughs> Fielding, and this week I've brought you to a place that is no strange to us. This magnificent building never disappoints when it comes to the world of the paranormal. Welcome to Most Haunted and to Capesthorn Hall. Nestled in the idyllic Cheshire countryside is the magnificent Capesthorn Hall. Once owned by its namesake, the Capesthorns, the manor was bought by the Ward family in 1386, and it was John Ward that had the house which stands so majestically built today. In 1719, he engaged the services of William Smith and his younger brother Francis to build the property. Finished in 1732, it stood for almost 130 years before being almost completely destroyed by fire in 1861, leading to the whole midsection having to be rebuilt. So haunted is this place said to be that Sir Walter Bromley Davenport called in a priest to have the house blessed. But the paranormal activity just keeps coming. From disembodied limbs floating across rooms, dark shadows lurking in corridors, and poltergeists waiting to surprise unsuspecting passers-by. With all this in mind, I just had to come and investigate Capesthorn Hall. In many of the rooms and corridors, disembodied limbs have been seen floating in midair, a terrifying apparition for the most bravest of people. This room is said to house a poltergeist that has a tendency to throw books off the shelves. Dark shadows are often seen here and ghostly voices are also heard. the upper floor apartment at Capesthorn has a really strange feel to it. Knocking noises and dark shadows have often been seen. Is there more than one spirit present here? Well, hopefully we'll find out tonight. It's true, you know, they really don't like that. Entities that are said to roam here are in abundance. A repulsive smell and a feeling of dread has often been witnessed on these stairs. Now, in my experience, that means one thing, a negative energy. Who is it and why is it haunting Capesthorn Hall? To get more of an insight into what has occurred at Capesthorn Hall, we asked wedding and events coordinator Kath Jeffries about her experiences. Working in the hall um, on a Sunday and in this particular area of the hall, I was locking up after showing people around for wedding viewings. And um, I, at, this, at this point on the landing, I was shut this, shut this door here and then I turned around to close the door behind me. And you have to do them very gently here because of alarms and things. So I've done them very gently. And I just turned back onto the landing when I finished. And something just went past me really. There was a real big breeze going past my face. I actually had a picture of the, of the paper that's here in the bow room on my PC. And I was really concentrating on this, uh, the wallpaper on the PC and zooming in onto it. And as I did, I was in the office with just one other member of staff. And something grabbed the back of my hair and gave my hair a big tug. 
but something tugged it and it was all related to this room and there seemed to be quite a few things that happen in this room that seem a bit odd. A couple of members of staff managed to get themselves locked in there. Well, there's the, nobody locked them in. While they were in the room, they managed to get locked in. Uh, often when we show people round, they say there's a, a funny feeling about the room. And we also get lights that we know we've turned off, coming back on again. Sir William, um, the owner of, of the hall, um, many years ago when he was a lot younger, he, he was staying in um, the nursery wing of the hall, which is on the other side. Um, and there's a bedroom there. And there was one night, he was in the bedroom and he could hear rattling at the window and it was a very, very still night, um, moon, moonlit night, no wind, and the, the window was rattling. He, he went to the window and saw this hand at the window and just a hand, severed hand. So um, he was quite spooked by that um, and still talks about it to this day. There are quite a lot of references to Sir Walter, who is Sir William's father. Um, there's a thing about his hair tonic that people often say, I've never personally smelt it, but a lot of the staff have smelt it, as have the family, that they walk around the hall and it's a very strong hair tonic that he always used to wear, and that's often picked up by people in the house. With such a house that had already had to be blessed, but to seemingly no avail, I wondered what demonologist Fred Batt would make of Capesthorn and all its ghostly tales. Well, tonight's location, uh, the show's been here a couple of times before, and it's a lovely place, Capesthorn Hall, beautiful house. But what fascinates me is the land itself. Now, on the land, apparently, there's three barrows here, which, in other words, are burial mounds. One of them goes back to the Bronze Age. Now, in the Bronze Age, there was a lot of human sacrifice, and I'm sure that's what I'm going to look for on this land tonight. As far as the hall's concerned, there's been a few very bad hauntings here, apparently, and on one staircase, there's two different types of smell that all of a sudden come up and hit you. One is a sweet smell that's meant to be similar to a hair tonic one of the previous owners used to use, but the other one is a sickly, horrible smell, the type you would get with a negative entity. So that's the one I'll be interested in. This type of haunting is a bit strange tonight. I've never come across it before because it's dismembered parts of a body. There's an arm that's been seen floating past a window. There's a head that's been seen along a corridor. Now, those sort of things are very interesting, so I'm hoping I can find something there tonight. Maybe that's something to do with the sickly smell that comes up on the staircase, the smell of old blood, perhaps. Our investigation wouldn't be complete without our resident skeptic, Glenn Hunt, and I was eager to find out his thoughts. Capesthorn Hall, we've been here twice before, so this is our third visit, and every time we've been here, something fabulous has happened. So I'm really excited about being here. It is an interesting venue, isn't it? It's uh, got its own persona. You can see that at the moment that you drive up here, and it looks absolutely fascinating. Uh, the one thing that's quite interesting is we're here in the, the bowels of the building, and this is obviously where the servants would have walked once upon a time. Now, I've got to draw your attention over this way, actually, because our crew room is just a stone's throw away from here yeah. and uh, we've all been walking past here all day long and straight away uh, we see this photograph of clippings and straight away you see the headlines uh, some of the crew can read, not all of us can. Uh, high spirit level, a stately home, Sir Walter Spook gets the ghost of a chance and straight away even if you just think this is a nice venue to be in, um, you're being fed, you know, it would seem unwittingly ideas that the place is haunted without yeah. even having to think about it. But this is actually, this is news of something that really genuinely happened. So, so, so Walter um, actually called in uh, the church to bless his home because he was... Are we getting knocking? Was that you? No. Is that a door? Yeah. So the door's open. You've got to take your clothes off. It's, it's not me. It's locked. Yeah? I heard a thud. That was really weird. Did you I, all hear it? I honestly thought that was that was you down no, no, just moving wasn't. your kit. No, I didn't move my kit, I just turned the dial, that doesn't That's really so nice. cool. <laughs> I, know, I, was, I was walking past it before. Yeah, but there's no breeze, there's we, nothing that can no, cause no, that. No, 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 it's strange. As soon as we started walking, I was like, 
start talking about it, yeah. that happens. That's really interesting. Yeah, but that kind of underlines everything I'm trying to say. That obviously you're reading these stories about the place being haunted, and then you're just hearing a knock, which could push the door. It could be an open window on the other side of the locked door. You don't know what's on the other side of there. We can't see past it. But because the suggestion is there that this is a haunted building, doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be. But I have to pull you up. I have been up and down this corridor all day, as the crew has, and I have to say that's the first time that I've heard that happen. Again, it just could be a coincidence. It's I still just, winter and... You know. No, I'm disagreeing with you. I think that that's really strange. There's no give in that door whatsoever. You can't even move. There's nothing to, to cause a draft or anything to, 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 to bang on the door like that. But look at the door. There's, there's holes in it. There's louvres in it. There could be a breeze coming through it. It's locked. We don't know what's behind that. There could be somebody, a member of staff in there, shifting things around. The window could be open. A breeze. We honestly don't know what's behind that. Well, then we'll, ha happening. we'll have to test it. We'll have to find out and see if there was a member of staff in there. We'll go and find out if there is a, a window open in there. It's doing it again. I think it's interesting. The fact is, I've been here twice before. We've recorded some amazing footage that cannot be explained by scientists, by anybody. We try to give logical explanations to it, and we can't. It's a fascinating location. I hear what you're saying, I do, um, but we'll have to agree to disagree on this. I truly believe this is a, a classic haunted house. Well, let's not dismiss the fact. When things happen, they are happening. They're honestly going on around us, but whether it is paranormal, again, when it could be a reasonable explanation despite all this you know we'll have to wait and see well you're not having the last word i'm telling you this place is haunted okay it was now time to get acquainted with the building love cellars. They're fantastic places, aren't they? Very, um, yeah, very atmospheric. Yeah, they're, they're great places because um, you, you most of the times I've always managed to get some sort of paranormal activity in cellars. I don't know why, but I think it's sort of the, the darkness, the dankness, the you know. Atmosphere. Yeah, and you really feel it. It's a great sense. You get quite scared. It could be your brain playing tricks on you, of course, because of that kind of yeah. atmosphere. But a lot of these things happened during World War Two. They certainly did. I mean, they, they, uh, uh, they used this place as an air raid shelter. Um, so a lot of people came down no. here and used the cellars. So, you know, who knows? And with everything that you you know as well, you know, the fact mm. that this place has been built on burial grounds, who knows, oh. you know, what, what the actual cellars are on are on top of. Mm. So it's going to be a great place to investigate. It's going back to the Bronze Age, yeah. Yeah, all right, mm. well, Preconceptions, though, preconceptions. Oh, preconceptions. I know what you're saying. You're quite right to think like that, but I can't wait to get going, especially okay. in the cellar. It's going to be good tonight. It will be. Go on, lead the way. Let's go off that way. So we go from the uh, claustrophobic areas of the cellars up to the, the grandeur of, of uh, the first floor this of this luxury, fantastic it? building. It's absolutely beautiful. beautiful. It's like a mini palace, it's isn't it? It's a world away from the basement, isn't it? Yeah, really? totally. Totally different atmosphere. But do not be fooled. You might think, oh, nice and comfy, it's nice and warm up here, but there's uh, one particular bedroom that has poltergeist activity in it. Lots of people have seen the, the corridors. Um, you know, even Sir Walter uh, himself um, mm. actually had the press in, as we know, right, uh, yeah. to get a, uh, the priest in because the corridors is where he was hearing lots of footsteps, bang, 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 bang. So there's a lot of activity going on here. Okay. Well, if we hear footsteps, that'd be interesting because we're actually on a carpet. Yeah. So I'm not sure how we could hear that. Yeah. Uh, in some of the bedrooms, uh, obviously it's, it's an old house. You expect it a bit of cold and wind to come through maybe the windows but I noticed already uh, there are shutters on the windows and there's some very heavy curtains so if we do get any draft experience then that's going to be something I think is quite significant. Draft absolutely something interesting but the actual footsteps and the banging and the poltergeist activity where books are thrown off shelves to me that's absolutely fascinating and that's something that that hasn't been able to be explained away mm -hmm. and I think another place that you're going to absolutely love but it is very chilly up there I think we should make our way upstairs to the apartment, which mm. I think is going to be a very creepy place to okay. investigate this way. Now, this apartment in the daytime felt absolutely fine to me. A little bit cold, but the family did live here uh, until recently. We don't know why they moved out. I don't think it was anything to do with being paranormal, but who knows? Um, Temperature certainly dropped. Yeah, it? but then, again, there's, there's no electricity up here, so there's no heating whatsoever. But I think this could possibly have been servants' quarters or part yeah. of the servants' quarters. Um, there's definitely a, an atmosphere here, uh, and I think that it's, 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 it's worth 
quite a bit of investigation Definitely. because it's yeah. it's um, uncharted territory. Mm. You know, nobody's investigated this part of the building before, and to me, that that's exciting. You'd think with the heat downstairs, heat rises. You'd think it would be fairly warm up here, but it's freezing, isn't it? Yeah, it is very, very cold. I do know, Fred, that these stairs lead straight to the roof, and it's it's a very small aperture to get straight up there. So that would explain a lot of any. Oh, heat loss, so essentially. The heat would go straight out. Yeah. yeah. And, he, and the coal will be coming in as well. Exactly, definitely. Yeah, that's true, yeah. What do you, um, do you what, what do you feel when you when you come in here? I've not really asked you, you know, th there are negative entities, definitely, allegedly, yeah. that hold the, the property. Yeah, do yeah, you no, feel? I can feel something. As soon as you walk into this part, it feels different. Yeah. Not just cold, it's different. You can feel something around you. Well, I can, anyway. Yeah. And let's well, let's just hope something yeah. happens. Let's hope we find something. Well, uh, apparently there are knocking noises and dark shadows that have been seen throughout the whole of this part of the bit. There's one now. There. Yeah, knocking again. Hello. Can you hear me? If you can make any noise. Can you knock twice? Just to check, it was none of the crew. I don't think it was any of the crew. Anything. No. In the it dark. Was from, it was from Behind, right, yeah. Right there. Yeah. Okay. That's water, interesting. Water pipes, perhaps. But there's no water up here no. either. There's nothing. Okay. Had to ask. No, no, no. You're, you're quite the right to do that. are all off up here, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely yeah. everything. Well, I wouldn't come up here on my own in the dark, would you? Yeah, of course I would. You would? Yeah. Excellent. Mm. You're the first to go off you're then. You're the one. <laughs> listen, the chosen listen. One. Oh, that's knocking now. Do you want Glenn to come up here on his own? That's good. I think we should turn all the lights off now and get going. Yes. Yeah, you come up here on your own first. Yep. Happy to do that? Yeah. Ah, you're a braver man than I am. And I'm not a man. Well, I might be for you, know. With that question in the forefront of our minds, and before we turn the lights out, I wanted to see if Eamon had picked up anything on the EVP equipment. Ah, Eamon, what have you got for us? Um, I've got a really good EVP for you. Have you? Mm, I'm quite surprised, actually, by oh. this one. Oh, good. It's possibly one of the best I've ever recorded. Really? So, yeah. Oh, my word. Is anybody who wants to speak? So just there is we are talking now. Right there, this here. I don't know what it says, but there's a conversation going on between possibly two spirits. I'm not entirely sure, but I'll repeat that. I get yeah and surely, and I'm not sure what the last bit is, but it's a great start to the night. It's absolutely brilliant. What's the sound wave here, Eamon? It's like I'm a, not an entirely extra sure, actually. little it's response. Just, Sure. But I heard you were welcome guests, but I might be trying to. I feel like I'm trying yeah, to find yeah, a word there. Yeah. I mean, with the others, you can't really dispute that their voices. Yeah. That one, I mean, it's still something from nowhere. Yeah. Um, there's not been lots, but what has come through has been high quality. Yeah. Which I think is that's fantastic. Great. I'm really excited by that. That's great. With the EVP off to a good start, I decided to start the investigation. Myself, Leah and Carl went into the American room, while Glenn, good to his word, went to the upper rooms and was quickly disorientated. And do you know what? I don't actually know where I am. <laughs> Which is the way out, which is the way I came in. Oh yeah, that's the way I came in. Right, just so I've got my bearings. Typical bloke. Of, uh, I'm useless at directions. Oh, no. Can you stop the clock? Can you do something else in the room for us, please? 
tick then, but it was just me talking over the top of it. God, I thought it stopped then for a second. So did I, yeah. So here I am. I'm on my own in the top floor of the building. I'm not sure if you're picking up that noise, but there is some banging. It's getting louder. I'd like to write that off and say it's water in the pipes, but as we learned earlier, the water's been shut off up here and there's no electricity. So as to what that was, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to do this. I'm gonna have to call help. If there is anybody in here with me, please will you knock twice? See, there's lots of banging. But it could be, I don't know, birds roosting on the rafters or up the top of the building. My heart is absent. <gasps> What's can the matter? Can you see what a light over there? Where? Behind Carl. Move over to the left, Carl. I swear I did. What kind of light? It was almost as if like it was just a dot, like a white dot over there. Can you show us some white lights, please? And you asked, you asked. I did. That's, I swear to God. Please show us some white lights. Look, in front. can you not see up there? Oh, I swear, right, see those plates? Yeah. Right, when it's off, watch over there. Say it again. Can you show us some white lights, please? want to see your lights, shining beautiful white lights if you can, if you can make them appear. What is that noise? I wonder if I can go up and see. There, we can hear that knocking now. Ah, there you go, look. A flagpole. How's that for a lucky guess? Copy me. A book, a book has just fell. Oh, that's what's supposed to happen in here. That's what's supposed to happen in it's here. It's on his end, though. That was right behind me as well. You're right. Yeah, well, I'm on camera, so I'm accounted for. You guys are accounted for. History of the American Wars. Where would that have come from? Oh, it would have been here, like that. Brilliant. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Thank you for that. Can you do it again? Did you scream or was that me? No, I definitely screamed. I think you both did a bit. <laughs> I certainly didn't. Although not much had happened with Glenn, things had started to occur in the American room. We know that the upper floors are allegedly haunted, so we sent Stuart up there alone, whilst the rest of the crew was fully accounted for in the crew room. Because of what happened, we decided for the first time to show a vigil in its entirety. Here we go. Start the servants' quarters now. Quick 
Knock down there. Okay. Oh, well, that's a double bed, and there's not a lot going on. Are there any nasty spirits in this room or in the servants? What was that? Right, I've just heard a thud. I've literally just come up. I've not been up here more than a minute. I'm gonna let's focus this in. <gasps> Crap. The cot is moving. The cot is moving. I got that moving earlier on when I was up here doing GVs. Right, okay. Um, there's someone obviously playing around up here with me now. Okay, keep it cool, Stu. You're all right, you're not going anywhere. You're up here to do a job, and that's what you're gonna do. Right, let's just, let's just uh, see what's going on. Someone's playing games. There's a tennis ball. Let's just see. Right, what I'm gonna do now, where's the, where's the cop? That's still moving. Let's just get that in shot a second. I'm gonna throw this ball. If there are any children up here, Roll that. Please roll that ball back. My name's Stuart. If you'd like to play some games with me, please do so. I'll play along with you. Thank you. Right, okay. Let's just check that's still there. No. Yep. That's still moving. It's slowed down. The ball's there, the cut's still moving. Away we go. Right. Is this your bedroom that you used to play in, sleep in? What's that picture up there? Is that kids painting? It looks like it, but it's not been done by kids. If you are here in the attic area with me now, please show me a sign. I'm not here to harm or disrespect you in any way. If there are children up here, please come forward. Do something now. There's footsteps. I can hear. I can hear something. It was almost like it came from this table. Are you with me now? Is that you walking around me? I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Just listen. What's that noise? Something's going on. <gasps> There's footsteps, footsteps, footsteps! Someone's coming to... Oh, <gasps> crap! <gasps> the tennis ball's come down the stairs. And there's footsteps all around me now. <gasps> you do see that. They came from down there. The ball came from down the stairs. I thought it was footsteps or someone running down. I was mistaken. The tennis ball has rolled down the stairs. You saw that, I saw that. Who's here with me? Please do something else. That tennis ball, holy moly. That was the ball I picked up from there. Let's go upstairs quick. Let's do, think, think about what you're doing now. Okay, keep it cool, keep calm, keep calm. Ah, just bang me out. Okay. That came from all the way from here all the way down there. I can hear the wind outside slightly. That's closed. Okay. Okay.
Okay, Stu, go back downstairs. Let's go back downstairs now. Please tell me your name, children. I'm saying children. The re- Oh! The door. A, a, so, what on earth is going on? Please help me. Help. Who's up here with me? Footsteps. I can hear something coming from this distance. I'm around here. Hello? Or in that room. The noises are moving around me all the time. Did you hear that? You can hear more movement. Stuart, don't go down there. Whatever you do, do not go down there. Something is going on. Don't go down any further, Stuart, because you don't know what's around the corner. Anything can happen. I'm just going to pop the camera around. I'm not going in. I'm just going to stick the camera around. There's nothing there. Hello? I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to go. My nerves are shot to shit. I can't do this any longer now. Far too many things have happened now up here. How I've left it this length of time, I don't know. And there's another bang. Hello? Who goes there? Please don't harm me in any way. Please don't hurt me. The ball's back again. The noise I've just heard is the ball, the tennis ball's back. Okay, thank you to any spirits, any ghosts, adults, children, whoever you are who's thrown this ball. I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to run, cry, scream, jump for joy, or just run downstairs and see the rest of the gang and tell them what's going on. I knew something was going to happen. I absolutely knew something like this was going to happen. Thank you. I just knew it. Thank you. Whoever you are, what you are, so the spirits... At this point, for no explicable reason, Stuart's camera, which had a full battery, lost all power. We needed to continue the investigation. So while the rest of us went to the basement, Carl went upstairs alone, where so much had happened to Stuart. I've, um, I've just moved up into the... Um, uh, into the, the basement, or the flat at the top, basement, the flat at the top. Now, a lot of things have been happening up here with everyone. Apparently this thing has been moving and there's a ball in here that uh, has been, we have a little, that's the infrared on, a little mind of its own, I don't know where it is, oh it's on there. I'm going to throw this and see if it comes back. If you're here, can you throw the ball back to me? Can you make a sound? That's the. I can't. That's the. That's the piano. I hope you heard that. What the? Hello. Right. Okay. There's no one in this room. There's two. There are two cupboards. I'm going to do the cupboards first. Right. There's no one in that cupboard. If you'd hear anyone walking through. You want to walk in? There's no one in that cupboard. Cry out there's no one behind the counter. Oh, that's the TV. That definitely went off, that definitely went off. There's no one through here. And you, if anyone was through there, you'd hear them. Hello? Can you hear my voice? Can you come towards us now, please, if you can? Can you make a noise? 
Can you push one of us? Oh. You're right, Liam. What was that? What was that? Is there a doorway across yeah, there? No, no, no. Was there? Is there a doorway across there? Sounded like a like a voice to me. Sounded like there was someone moving out here. I was just that. If I was just about to say, literally about thirty seconds ago, I could hear movement. Hello. If that was you that made that noise, can you do it again? Is there anybody here with us now? Are there any spirit people here with us now? Did you used to work here? It's so cold, isn't it? Yeah. Hello? Hello? I'm really spooked in here now. Something about a piano playing on its own. Can you play the piano again? <sighs> Crying out loud. Oh. That just went and oh. I almost slipped over, that just went. Now play it again. Can you do it again? Oh. Oh, crap, somebody's coming up the corridor. Hello? Hello? <sighs> that reflection's gone now, Yvette. Look. Let's go down there. You can't see it now. You can't. You can't. What, that? Something's hanging. Just, just, just hang on, guys. If there's a red reflection there now, it might be from the infrared. It's not a red reflection. Before, we could see the reflection of the window. Yeah, why there was a little bit of light down the end. Yeah. Now, it was now no there's, nothing. there's nothing there. Turn you, well, you won't see it on the night. Well, you will see it on the night vision. But yeah, not all I'm eyes. seeing is the reflection of the... <laughs> What's it? There's a, there's a, there's a... Oh, fine. pair of pliers. <laughs> that, that went into my back. Okay, that was a, that was Stu, you had your, your back against that wall. I don't... Yeah, that, you did, you did. That went into my back. I don't know where I was standing. You were stood like this. You were like that. You were like that, pointing yeah. down this way. You had your back Shh, against that wall. They went in to my back. Did they? Yes. And then they landed on the floor. So whoever or whatever's thrown them, I, I don't know. Let's go further down. Mm. What do you want me to do with these? Keep hold of them. Oh, 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 oh. That's down here. Oh, oh, great. Oh, 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 it's great. great. Block of wood. Nice block of wood. Where does that come from? It's good. Poltergeist activity. This where did you pick that up from then, Fred? Yeah. Yeah. Literally yeah. there on the floor by that But where would it have come at? No, 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 by no. by oh, up, coming up to this door oh, here. Yeah. No, no, it's great. That's but that's three up. things now. There's some wood on the shelf there, but I mean that's around the corner. Let's keep going. Come on, this is fab. Thank you. Yeah, keep it there. coming. Thank you. Oh, I don't want to go. I don't want to. Let's come. Somebody come up the corridor. I can feel them. I can hear them. I mean. Oh. Hello. Oh, this is ridiculous. That went again. That went again. <sighs> right. I'm feeling really irritated now.
I am really scared. That's not right. It's certainly not human. The trouble is, I feel like I'm surrounded. I actually feel like I'm surrounded. Like there's... Right, there's a knock in that cupboard then. Right, we know there was a knock in that cupboard. Hello? Hello? Right. All right, that, that came from the cupboard. Oh. Is there anybody here with us? If you'd like to try and affect us. We've heard about some stories about you affecting staff here. So if you'd like to uh, do the same with us. Did you Yeah. Can you try to communicate with us somehow? So it actually touched my head. Was it a cobweb, baby? No, it wasn't. It was definitely something. Right, hang on, don't worry. Let's have a look on the floor now. Yeah, I Jesus. swear let's to God, I'm so sorry. I swear to God, something touched me. Yvette, I, 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 it was a sheer look me saying, look in, the, look in there. What is it? Get because it out. I was going to hit her on the head. So it. Something else just flew out, then. It was just sheer luck for me to say, look in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I swear to God, it hit me on the back of my head. Greg, where were you Get pointing pushed. at the time? I was pointing at Leah. As right, you all came you out of the door. Shot, then, yeah, where you we all were. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, okay. That's okay. It's not okay. It's just hit me on the back of my head. That was the loudest scream I think I've ever had. Well, please, I did say, don't touch <laughs> me. No, we said touch you. Yeah, we did say touch me. No, no, I can't do this yet. Hang on. Yeah, I'm up here on my own. And I really, that's a stupid thing to do because I'm not, I'm not comfortable. I'm really not. I, I, and I'm feeling quite dizzy. I'm, I'm feeling a bit disorientated. <sighs> cool, Bennett. <sighs> I need some torch, I need a light. out. I've just passed out. Oh. I need to get downstairs. I need to get downstairs. With Carl's ordeal over and the rest of us exhausted, I decided to call an end to our investigation of Capesthorn Hall and what an investigation it was. Is there anybody here with us now? Are there any spirit people here with us now? I see the ball. That's the... I can't say that's the... That's the piano. I'm not sure if you're picking up that noise, but there is some banging. I'm gonna let's focus this in. <gasps> Crap! The cup is moving. It sounded like there was someone moving out here. <gasps> Crying out loud. What's that noise? Something's going on. <gasps> There's footsteps, footsteps, footsteps! Someone's coming down. Oh, <gasps> crap! <gasps> what on earth is going on? Please help me. Hello? <gasps> I don't actually know where I am. Oh. Oh. The 
balls back again. Right, there's a knock in that cupboard then. It's about ah! me! I'm not even joking! Until next time, sleep tight. Leave a message as you go. Find the moment where Just